It's Whitney here from the Toasty Flannel. Today I am here to unbox this bad boy. If you don't know what's in here, this is my brand new OM Tech AF2435-80 CO2 laser. Super excited to get in here. Uh, basically the model number just breaks down into AF for autofocus, 24 by 35 inch bed, and it's an 80 watt laser. So I'm super excited to get in here. I'm going to basically just wing it. I gotta uh, unscrew all of these port bolts and then all of the plywood comes off and we're just gonna go for it. I'm gonna see how easy it is to get this out of here and we'll continue setting it up together. So first thing I did was start to remove all of these long screws from the sides of the box. They are everywhere, so make sure you get all of them I started with the sides, but if I were to do this again, I think I would start by taking off the top. I think that would just be a little bit easier to take apart the box as a whole, but this still totally worked, me taking the sides off first. I didn't really have a plan going into this, I was just winging it, so now I'm removing all of the plywood pieces and dreaming about all the fun things I can make with them. All right, now that the plywood box is off, we can start to see little pieces of the laser poking through the cellophane. What I'm gonna do next is remove the braces and build a little ramp so that it can get safely to the ground. I'm just gonna use pieces of scrap wood I have laying around, put a couple thick pieces near the base, and then some thinner pieces of plywood just to make sure it has a smooth transition off of the platform. Then you have to remove these long screws that hold the feet in. Those are the braces you need to take out, and then you just need to unscrew the feet so that it rests on the wheels. Then you can start to roll it off the platform as gently as you can. I had to grab an extra hand just to get it off the middle part, but once it was on the ground, it's super easy to roll around. My old machine weighs over 600 pounds, and I was actually super surprised at how easy it was to maneuver around my garage by myself. Once I got it in its place, I locked the wheels and lowered the feet so that it was level and started unboxing the rest. Taking off all the cardboard, there's my honeycomb tray, removing all the cellophane, and for some reason I spent an ungodly amount of time taking off this paper tape. Couldn't help myself, I had to just do it all at once even though it took me probably the longest <laughs> out of this unboxing process. And here she is. I've named my laser Bernadette, pun intended. Inside your laser, they pretty much give you everything you need to get your laser up and running. Um, that is not the laser tube wrapped up like I thought it was at first. Those are the knives that you put in under the honeycomb tray so you can get all those set up. I actually lost the footage of me putting those in, so sorry about that. Um, they attach your keys to your laser head here. There's actually another set of keys as well. So many keys, I still haven't figured out what they all do yet. Um, they also include that bucket that you can use if you don't have a chiller. You put your distilled water in there and they also include an aquarium pump. In here of course you also have your power cables. They include a vent hose and a little clamp for it and the hoses to hook up your aquarium pump. So about to get all that set up. I didn't film too much more of the rest of it, just me putting in the honeycomb tray, but I promise the rest was pretty easy. Alright, she is all set up. Uh, I didn't film too much of the setup process just because there's so many great videos out there already. And I did a lot of setup while it was really dark outside, so the lighting was not great. But it went really, really well, really straightforward. Pretty much you just plug in the exhaust vent, vent it out a window, um, plug in both of the power cords, make sure they're going to their own outlet. For the water chiller, I used the pump that it came with at first because my chiller was a couple days delayed. So I've actually used both now. Um, pump was really easy to set up as well. You just put it in the bucket of uh, distilled water and then the hoses are all labeled input and output and you should reverse those on either of the, like the pump versus the machine. So that was also really easy and I got it all working uh, pretty much in the same day and then it was just a matter of calibrating and adjusting all of the mirrors making sure it was all lined up right. I probably took the longest and it was just because it was just myself doing it so every time I had to go adjust a mirror I had to get up, go all the way around the machine, test it, put new tape on. So if you had two people that process would go a lot faster but totally doable with one. It's just a little bit longer or at least it was for me. You might get lucky and your machine might be perfectly aligned when you get it. So um, I just want to tell you a few reasons why I went with the OM Tech and this model in particular. So we move on to some of the features. So, one main reason that I bought this particular model was the bed size. So this is a 24 by 35 inch bed. 
Um, it's really, really big and perfect for what I'm gonna use it for. I'm a scroll saw artist and I do a lot of wood signs. 24 inches is a really popular backer size. So I wanted to make sure that my laser was gonna be able to cut out backers for me. Um, so that's why I went with this one in particular. It also has a unique feature of it having pass-throughs. So there's a little lip on each side and you can put material through there. So if I had like a 24 inch piece of wood but it was like five feet long and I didn't want to cut it down or I couldn't cut it down, you could stick it in from the side and only engrave or cut on part of it, move it over, engrave on the next section, and you can do that to basically increase the bed size of your laser. So you're still of course limited to like the 24 or like the 35 inches this way, but you could extend the length um, one way or another. So that's really cool. Um, next we're going to talk about wattages. So wattages. I have an 80 watt laser and I picked that specifically so that I would be able to cut through half inch materials. So MDF, birch, plywood, um, acrylic, I should be able to get through half inch acrylic. Um, I'm not going to be cutting those thick materials super often, so I didn't need to go with like, you know, 100 or 130 watts, so it would just be able to do it like butter. Um, I am going to have to crank up my power settings a little bit to get it to cut through, you know, half inch MDF and things like that, but I'm not worried about doing that, and this laser can definitely handle it. I just wanted to end the video with a couple thoughts about why I went with OM Tech instead of any of the other big laser brands out there. If you are down the rabbit hole of laser research, then I'm sure you know who I'm talking about. There are several brands out there that are um, really big and they're all over the place. Um, and I don't want this video to be about why I don't like those companies or why I didn't go with their product, but rather why I went with this one. So basically it was the combination of this being the perfect bed size. It had the 80 watt tube I was looking for and the price was incredible, especially compared to everything else I was comparing it to. So um, once I kind of decided that this was the laser I wanted, I reached out to some maker friends, um, other people that already had OM Tech lasers, some that didn't, and nobody had a single bad thing to say about the company, about their lasers. So um, I did end up working on a deal with OM Tech. I'm an affiliate now, so super excited about that. Um, but I made sure that they knew that I was always gonna give my honest opinion. I never wanna be paid to review something a certain way. So. So far, I'm providing a positive review because my whole experience has been really positive so far. Um, the buying process was great. The shipping and delivery process was really smooth. Um, it didn't take me very long to set up um, and everything's kind of beat my expectations so far and it's producing really awesome products for me already. So I'm very, very happy with this and I hope that this video has helped you a little bit as well. Feel free to shoot me any questions via DM or in the comments um, or on Instagram. I've already been sharing lots of tips and tricks that I've learned so far um, from just either the setup or, you know, some of the light burn settings and stuff that I've been using. So if you want to follow me on there and you aren't already, that's where I do share a lot of my uh, behind the scenes stuff. So um, I do want to say if you're ready to pull the trigger on buying your laser, I'd love it if you could use my code. It doesn't give you any discount, unfortunately, but it does let them know that I sent you or that you found my video helpful and it does give me a little kickback. So I'll put my link in the description below and my code is TOASTY. So hopefully that's easy to remember. You just put it in the discount code section when you're checking out. Um, one last thing I just wanted to show you was the cute little magnet that I've made so far. I'm only showing you this because I just wanted to let you know like what is possible to make like right away with your laser. I had never used light burn before, obviously I'd never used a laser before, and I made this like two days after I got my laser set up. So I did a couple test burns, I did some of those test cards, and um, just with a little bit of tinkering, I basically imported this design that I drew, uh, put a cute font on there, and I was able to figure out how to cut the border, how to engrave it, how to engrave and cut this separate smaller uh, thinner piece of wood, and how to get my little logo on the back. So for me to be able to figure this all out in like the second day should make you feel good about you being able to learn it as well. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions like I said, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya.